Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundCloud Web Studios. Visit online at soundcloudstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundcloudstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mian Bolsonzia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mian Bolsonzia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mian Bolsonzia has garnered great reviews and Eve Eleven enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Ghost Missing by Mian Bolsonzia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Picture of This Photo Books, remembering is a key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at a wedding and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss Grandma's meatballs, huh? Well, the holidays are coming. What better time? Give a gift for remembrance, makes you laugh and cry at the same time. Whatever you get for Grandma's recipes or just because... Those smells and tears will just melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw, picture this photo books at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Picture this photo books, bring your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. Also, check out the Mike Wagner Show on our 30 podcast platforms and the Mike Wagner Show on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and more. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas for your loved ones, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Wagner Show or the Mike Wagner Show.com for great T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, makes great gifts 24-7, 365 for your loved ones. And also check out the Me and Molson Zia store on Amazon for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles. Also cool merchandise, T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, you name it, he's got Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia store. And make sure you... um. Order today, and don't forget, whoops, flying off the shelves here, folks, by the way. So that's how hot these products are, folks. And um, don't forget to uh, donate to the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM so, slash support, as well as PayPal at the Mike Widener Show or Mike Widener VoiceOver, and donate generously at the themikewidenershow.com, and make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's the Muffin Man from Akron, Ohio. He founded the company, formerly Main Street Muffins, back in 1987 with his partner, Harvey Nelson. He's a two-time winner of the U.S. BA, which is the uh, United Small Business Administration in Small Business of the Year. And he's also twice listed in the Inc. 500 list for fastest growing company. And um, is also co-founder of the Akron um, Marathon uh, Charitable um, Corporation and also been involved in numerous organizations. And he's got a book out which uh, tells a story about how he and his business partner developed a very tasty treat called the Muffin Man Chronicles and also gives tips and advice and more. So if you ever hear the song, Do You Know the Muffin Man? Well, you've got the Muffin Man right here. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Akron, Ohio, the Muffin Man himself and the author of the Muffin Man Chronicles, Steve Mark. Steve, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks, Mike. It's great to be here and uh, look forward to talking to you today. Well, it's great to have you on board, too. I mean, you got those tasty muffins. And when I read about that, you know, you, um, you know, having like Main Street muffins and you also have uh, your book called The Muffin Man. I'm so hungry for your muffins right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we're going to talk about that later as well, too. But uh, most importantly, you're the author of The Muffin Man Chronicles. You founded uh, the company back in 1987, formerly Main Street Muffins, with your partner, Harvey Nelson, two time winner of the USBA. Um, Award in United, Bus United uh, Small Business Administration, and also two times listed in Inc. 500, fastest growing, and um, also involved in numerous charity as well, too, and co-founded the Akron Marathon um, Charitable Corporation, and uh, your latest book just tells it how it uh, came about. And before we go on, Steve, tell us how I first got started. You know, over the past 40 years, uh, I would frequently chronicle, if you will, or journal about things that occurred in my life, in my business life, and sort of the mindset I had at this at a particular moment in time, some of the lessons learned. And when I retired in 2019, I had this collection of materials sitting on my desk. Wow. And I just said, you know, 
I need to do something with it. And I, you know, I fill in the gaps um, and I put a book together and it was, you know, it was very cathartic kind of thing. Um, I, I learned a lot about the process. I learned a lot about myself and, and, and putting this book together and things I didn't even realize that, that sort of came about by, by putting this uh, in a book. Mm -hmm. And how'd you first get started with muffins in the first place? It's an interesting story. Um, I was a CPA in 1986 when my father invited me to go to one of those sheriff's real estate auctions where they oh yeah okay they auction off property for people that didn't pay the real estate taxes. And a lot of times you can buy a property for like ten dollars. And it, oh it, it my goodness, it wouldn't be a bargain though in some cases because you could be buying land that has EPA issues, or you could be buying land that is landlocked, or just no possible use. So it's just a really a waste of money unless you know what you're doing. Um, I didn't know what I was doing, but a, a property came up for bid at uh, 214 South Main Street. And I worked at 50 South Main Street. So I had a decent idea where it was, but I didn't know what it was. And uh, I got in a bidding war with the guy and I, I ultimately bought the property for $5,000, not wow. knowing where it was. Um, and my father figured I just learned a very valuable lesson about planning and money management because I didn't have $5,000. <laughs> um, well, I, remember, <laughs> right, right. I remember running down Main Street to sort of see where my net worth was located. And to my astonishment, my $5,000 had purchased a five-story building in the heart of downtown Akron. Ooh. Um, at the same time, the city of Akron was offering low interest loans and incentives to develop property in, in, uh, in Akron, but you had to have a retail store. Mm. Um, so a friend of mine, close friend of mine, um, Harvey Nelson, we uh, decided to put a muffin store in there. And uh, on our first day, we had 2000 people come through our door and we, you know, we really didn't know what we were doing, but we figured it out as we went and uh, the business ultimately became very successful. Huh. That's rather interesting. And um, it was called uh, Main Street Muffins. And um, and, and what are some more uh, common and most popular flavors you had when it came to muffins? Well, not too surprising. Blueberry was the number one flavor. Um, interestingly, um, our R&D efforts, uh, when we were renovating the building, uh, we had a construction crew uh, that would be working in the building. And we would bring down muffins every day to let them try. And that, that was our first R&D lab. They would you know, tell us, this, this isn't very good. This is great. You need to do this to this. This needs to be a little sweeter, whatever, more fruit. Or, and that, that, that became sort of a cornerstone of our, of our advancement in, in, the, in developing products. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, you know, besides the blueberry and everything else, what are some of the other flavors that you offered? And how about some of the more uh, interesting combinations or even exotic or um, something that's never, ever been heard of, like, say, um, raspberry chocolate or, say, strawberry banana or maybe like, um, you, you know, mango passion or something like that or even like bacon or something. So what are some of the other flavors that you offered as well? Oh, you know, we did um, a lot of, you know, we weren't bakers. We weren't classically trained. So a lot of the things we did is because we didn't know better. Um, we had, you know, things like orange poppy seed muffin, raspberry apple, and peanut butter and jelly. And we also came out with lunch muffins. Oh, wow. We had, you know, broccoli and cheese, spinach and cheese. We had a pizza muffin. Um, you know, really, we, we had a blank canvas. And we could pretty much put anything we wanted together. And, and, and based on the popularity, we had, it decided whether it would stay or not. Huh, that's really interesting. And um, and, and what, was the, what was the secret or ingredient or what was special about those muffins that separate you guys from the rest? Well, if I told you the secret ingredient, that wouldn't be uh, uh, something that would uh, be sustainable for us. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I wouldn't say that there was a secret, but a lot of the things we did were, were classic. It was a classic paradigm because we didn't know the classic way to do things. So we, you know, did things sort of out of the ordinary. So in the beginning, we used the, the wrong type of mixer. Uh, we used the wrong type of flour, you know, and so we, we, we had, like I say, we had a blank canvas and could do a lot of things that maybe traditional people wouldn't have done because they knew sort of the rules of the game. We just didn't know, you know, the rules and we could do all kinds of things. Mm hmm. And of course, so we'll talk more about the story about how, how you and your partner um, developed the Tasty Treat and Goudreau multi-million dollar business, offer tips and um, tips of trade as well in the uh, book um, Muffin Man Chronicles. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by SonicWeb Studios. 
Visit our line at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve Levin endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forrest Riley, and Manilas. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, remembering is a key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs, huh? Well, the holidays are coming. What better time to give a Give her memories. It makes you laugh and cry at the same time. Whatever you get for grandma's recipes or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart, including muffins. Call Karen Shaw. Picture this photo books at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention Mike Widener's show. Get 10% off your first order. Picture this photo books. Bring your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show on over 30 podcast platforms and the themikewidenershow.com. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show or the themikewidenershow.com. And for more great gift ideas, including great books by Mia Molson Zia, like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, as well as T-shirts, Pop Sockets, hoodies, and great merchandise, Go to Amazon.com and check out the Me and Molson Zia store today. And don't forget to uh, support us on Anchor FM as well as PayPal and also the MikeWidenerShow.com. Make sure you donate generously today. We're here with the author of the book, um, The Muffin Man Chronicles, with the Muffin Man himself, Steve Marks, here on the Mike Widener Show. And um, this this book tells the story about how you and your business partner developed a tasty treat. And first of all, how'd you two uh, first, um, how'd you guys first two meet? Uh, we met in nursery school, actually. Um, our parents uh, were best friends growing up, and our grandfathers were best friends growing up. So it was pretty natural for me to see him and know him and uh, go into business with him, ultimately. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, too, it also takes you through the steps as well, too, and um, also guides in the, uh, the process as well, too. So he talked about uh, how you got started just uh, getting a billing for $5,000 and um, you know, you know, from uh, to its sale and um, also repeat sales as well, too. And, um, you know, besides having those uh, 2000 people come in the first day, repeat sales and uh, everything else, you know, just, you know, just walk us through a process when it comes to uh, it being the book, The Muffin Man Chronicles. Well, you know, the, the, the business really started to take off when about six months after our opening, we had a restaurant owner come to our store and wanted to buy our muffin batter and take it back to his restaurant. And we really didn't understand the opportunity. We really looked at it more as a threat. And we, we said to the guy, we, I guess we, we decided to go forward, but we were reluctant to buy it. We said, you know, you come here uh, at five o'clock when we close, you bring your own buckets and you bring a check. And if we're in a good mood, we'll sell you some muffin batter. And, uh, you know, astonishingly, he showed up with his bucket and his check and we were uh, filled his bucket and he came back the next day and he wanted a different variety. And the next day, and the next day, and you know, uh, eventually uh, a light bulb went on, went on, and we realized that this was an opportunity. And that's when we got into the wholesale part of the game. Mm. And that's really our defining moment. Our business took off uh, because we could then have a, a you know pretty wide region to go after uh, uh, customers. Our our product was what well, we we coined the uh, defrost, scoop out, and bake muffin batter. Huh. Uh, the, the end user just had to thaw the product, scoop it into pans, and bake it without the labor-intensive process of making it from scratch. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, when it comes to um, you know, your store as well, too. And uh, how many stores did you expand into? You know, you know, after the six months, you um, you gave the guy like a restaurant. Here's the batter and all that. And uh, how how many stores did you expand to? And also, how, how many other things did you expand into? And and um, what are some of the other expansions? Uh, well, we, we eventually got a distributor to, to carry our product. And so that 
opened up more doors as well. We could sell to all the, those people and the distributors. Uh, but uh, another year passed and we got a call from a local franchisee, McDonald's, wanted to buy our batter, bake it in their biscuit oven and, and test market a fresh baked muffin concept. That proved very successful. Uh, and eventually all the McDonald's in our, our Summit County here in Akron uh, started selling the Main Street Muffins product. Uh, that then expanded to Northeastern Ohio, then it expanded to Ohio. And then eventually we had 1500 McDonald's stores selling our, our product. Uh, that launched our business. Uh, it allowed us to get into a new uh, facility it taught us a lot of new things that we didn't understand, you know, didn't know how to do with the McDonald's system and just the way they operated. It was a great educational process uh, working with McDonald's throughout the mm -hmm. whole timeline. Now, was this in the Akron area or in the Northeast Ohio area or um, what other areas did you expand into? But the, the, it was it started all of Ohio. Then it became Pennsylvania, the Midwest. We got into Michigan. Uh, we got into Missouri. We got into Kentucky. Uh, it was pretty much the Midwest and, and parts of uh, you know the, the, mid, the mid area, the St. the Missouri area, but uh, fifteen hundred locations in total. Wow, that is amazing! Just hungry for something. I got to tell you that, <laughs> just very hungry. And um, what are some of the obstacles that you encountered as well, too? And what are some of your uh, biggest challenges that you faced, but you managed to um, to conquer? There are many challenges. Uh, it was always three steps forward and two steps back. Uh, we had capacity issues. Uh, we ended up building our own plan in 1994. Uh, you know, so there was, there was a lot of uh, learning curve uh, to be able to do that. We eventually pivoted into cookies and then brownies. Um, and we started to set up a network of, of distributors. Uh, that wasn't uh, easy. Uh, we were going against a, a comp little company called Pillsbury in the process. Uh, they had a very formidable sales network and a, and a formidable uh, company in general. So there were, there were a lot of different pivots and a lot of decisions to be made along the way to combat all that competition. Uh, and then, you know, uh, just trying to, to, to grow a business uh, and the constraints that you have on it. Um, we ended up uh, selling to private equity uh, only about um, uh, seven, eight years after we started. Uh, that was another learning process. Uh, we ultimately bought the business back in 2004. Uh, so that was again, a, a great uh, 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 education in, in uh, how to deal with private equity and the pitfalls and opportunities with that. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the, uh, the tips and also tricks as well too that can offer to people if they wanna start a business like yours? It doesn't have to be muffins, it can be just about anything. Well, in the book, I talk about the kinds of things that I think are necessary for an entrepreneur to have. Um, you know, it's not for everybody. Everybody can't be an entrepreneur. Everybody should not be an entrepreneur. And it, it, it's, it, it's uh, unless you're willing to, you know, uh, take home your work with you and think about it all the time, I, I wouldn't say it's something probably for you. Um, you better be a good problem solver. I talk about that in my book about how problem. Oh, I think we lost uh, Steve there for just a minute. So, all right, Steve, you may want to continue here. So I think we lost Steve for oh, just sorry. a minute here. Oh, sorry. Okay. I, I talk in the book about problem solving and how if problems don't go away, uh, there's always, you know, I always thought that at some point, uh, you know, the problems would be diminished, but they're, as you grow, there's just, just different problems and, and you better have a, a system in place to be able to solve problems. Um, I talk about pivoting and how you're gonna get roadblocks after roadblocks. And you better understand the concept of pivoting. You better be a good pivoter um, and you better know how to, you know, when to do it kind of thing. So um, there's also, I think entrepreneurs need to have a sort of persistent and determined mindset because uh, you're gonna fail a lot. And it, 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 it's what you do uh, after you fail that really counts. Um, I, I, when I wrote the book, I, I, when I went through it, I was surprised how many times we almost went out of business. Wow. Uh, yeah. So it, 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 um, and you know, maybe you weren't that close. It sure felt that way when I, when I remember it, but, um, so there, there's, a, there's, it's like I say, it's not for everybody. Um, it's always the thing I wanted to do when I was growing up. I, I always wanted to have my own business. It was, it was my burning desire. Um, and I was just waiting for that opportunity when it, when it showed up in the form of an auction in 1986. 
Mm -hmm. And of course, I can still taste your muffins right now as we speak. <laughs> and it's just very tasty. That was an amazing story you had. And um, where can we find the Muffin Man Chronicles at? Uh, we're available on Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble. There's, it's wherever, it just, you, you just uh, search for it, you'll find it. It's in many places. Okay, that sounds very good. And uh, Steve was also involved in a number of uh, charities as well, too. And uh, what's coming up for Steve Mark, the Muffin Man? We'll find out just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, International Warring author Mia Molson Zia Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Also brought to you by a picture of this photo books, remembering is a key ingredient. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809 or visit picture of this photo books dot com. We'll be back with the Muffin Man Steve Marks and his book, The Muffin Man Chronicles, after this time out. We're back with the author of Muffin Man Chronicles, Steve Marks, best known as a muffin man here on the Mike Wagner Show. A really good story about um, how he got started with his muffin business and how he succeeded and, um, you know, many trials and tribulations and how he overcame. And I mean, just an amazing story about how he got started. And, um, and you also got involved in some charities as well, too, like the uh, Akron Marathon Charitable Corporation involved in numerous organizations. He also won some awards. And um, tell us about some of your other accomplishments aside from your business. The, the Akron Marathon was uh, sort of a quirky way that evolved, but I, I, my wife and I had always run in marathons, and Akron didn't have a, a marathon, and we were kind of sort of dismayed by that, and we went into the city and talked to the mayor, So why doesn't Akron have a, have a, a world-class marathon? I mean, it, we have a great city, um, and I walked out of that meeting uh, in charge of a marathon with uh, not really... <laughs> not really knowing uh, what was involved and so forth. But at the same time, my family had put together a foundation and uh, we decided to put the resources of that foundation to start the Akron Marathon. We started in 2003 with 3,000 people in the first race. Uh, this, last, uh, this last few years, we, we average around 20,000 people throughout the, throughout the three races we have. So it's, it's Akron's largest participatory sporting event. And we raise a lot of money for charities, and it's a big economic benefit to the community as well. So we're very proud of our accomplishments. It's been rated as one of the top 50 marathons in the United States. Wow. And it's the largest uh, uh, marathon relay in the United States currently. Oh, that's interesting. And you say you and your wife run in marathons. What was your best finish, would you say? <laughs> uh, I did 331 in a marathon many years ago. Uh, don't uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Sh Pretty sure it's close to that time, but it's many years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure uh, everybody would be proud, including those in the Boston Marathon. I'm sure of that, too. So, And where can we find more information about, um, about your charitable work and uh, many more, including the Akron Marathon uh, Charitable Corporation? Uh, Akronmarathon.org, uh, which uh, we, like we just finished our race a couple of weeks ago, uh, and so we're already planning for next year. That is so amazing. We're here with author Steve Marks of the Muffin Man Chronicles on the Mike Wagner Show. And Steve, just a few more things. What can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond? You know, I'm working on the book. Uh, so it's, it's a real educational process going through that and learning, you know, meeting great people like you and, and just getting the word out and understanding uh, the promotion and marketing of a book and how it sells and how it doesn't sell and those kind of things. So that's probably going to be my focus. Um, I'm on several boards uh, that I have investments in, mostly in the food side. So that keeps me pretty busy. Uh, no shortage of things to do. Mm -hmm. And that's very important as well, too. And there's never a shortage of muffins, I'll tell you that. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Uh, you know, I've had a lot of mentors. Uh, I would say, you know, I talk about it in the book a little bit. Um, we, we put a, a slate of board of advisors together early on in our uh, careers. And those people have been mentors and advisors. And, uh, uh, you know, I borrowed a, a little bit of each one of the, their personalities, I think, to sort of uh, mold uh, how I operate. And it's, uh, it's been a great process for me. It sounds like a great process. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Well, if you, if you wanted to get into business, I would say uh, really know yourself. Uh, know if this is something for you. Uh, a lot of people go into entrepreneurship because they necessarily they may have to because they lost their job or or just to, to, to be able to survive. But, um, you know, the, the, the true entrepreneur, I think, is, is somebody that um, sort of has a life force, um, has sort of a little bit of arrogance to them 
uh, is determined, um, is a great problem solver, takes risk. Um, but you, you know, it's not for everybody. Um, so you, you, you should be sure that this is what you want to do, I think, is what mm-hmm. I would tell people. And that's very good advice as well, too, for those that want to get into a business. Once again, we're with author Steve Marks, best known as the Muffin Man, with his book, The Muffin Man Chronicles and the Mike Widener Show. Steve, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Just keep us up to date. Keep in touch and look forward to having you again on again very soon. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your book? Uh, you can go to uh, MuffinManChronicles.com or uh, you can go to Amazon and search uh, uh, the Muffin Man Chronicles. Uh, but pretty much everything emanates from MuffinManChronicles.com. We certainly will do so. Once again, Steve, a very big thank you for your time. You've been totally amazing. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date and love to be back on in 2021 and beyond. Don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific and we definitely wish you all the best. Thanks, Mike. Great to be here.